Welcome. Our topic coverage for this review questions is all about in the book 2 of Eltham, 2nd edition, chapter 1 titled, The Taxing Powers of Local Government Units, specifically in section 37, The Power of LG Used to Create Sources of Revenue, and section 38, The Fundamental Principles of Taxing and Other Revenue Raising Powers of LG Use. Number 1. Which of the following is true regarding LGU sources of revenue creation? A. Each LGU has the power to create its own sources of revenue and levy taxes, fees, and charges. B. The revenue collected by an LGU can be used by any other LGU of the same class classification and level. C. Local revenue can only be generated from sources explicitly authorized by local chief executive. D. LGUs have no power to create their own sources of revenue. Answer, Letter A. Each LGU has the power to create its own sources of revenue and levy taxes, fees, and charges, subject to the provisions of the local government code and the principle of local autonomy. These provisions grant LGUs the authority to generate revenue for their local governments. Option B is incorrect because the revenue collected by an LGU cannot be used by any other LGU. Option C is incorrect because local revenue is generated from sources authorized by law or ordinance, not from the LCE alone. Option D is incorrect as it contradicts the correct answer, as mentioned above. Number 2. What is the primary objective of allowing LGUs to create their own sources of revenue? A. To fund national government programs. B. To promote local autonomy. C. To reduce the revenue collection burden of national government. D. To encourage private sector investment. Answer, letter B. The primary objective of allowing LGUs to create their own sources of revenue is to promote local autonomy. This empowers local governments to make decisions and govern their jurisdictions according to the needs and preferences of their constituents. Number 3, what is the purpose of allowing LGUs to create their own sources of revenue? A to reduce the financial burden on the national government. B. To encourage competition among LGUs. C. To enable LGUs to meet their fiscal requirements and provide essential services. D. All of the above. Answer. Letter C. Allowing LGUs to create their own sources of revenue enables them to meet their fiscal requirements and provide essential services to their constituents. This empowers local governments to address the specific needs of their communities, promote development, and ensure the efficient delivery of public services. Number 4. Which of the following best describes the equality and uniformity in local taxation under the local government code? A. Taxing all units within the same political subdivision at the same rate. B. Comparing the tax rates of different units within the same political subdivision. C. Taxing all taxable articles or kinds of property of the same class at the same rate within the territorial jurisdiction of the taxing authority. D. Taxing all units within the same province, city, municipality, or barangay at the same rate. Answer, letter C, equality and uniformity in local taxation require that all taxable articles or kinds of property of the same class be taxed at the same rate within the territorial jurisdiction of the taxing authority. This means that the tax rate should be consistent within the specific geographical area of the LGU. Number 5, 
when is a tax considered uniform under the local government code? A. When it applies equally to all persons, firms, and corporations in similar situations. B. When it is applicable only to one particular class. C. When it applies to all units within the same political subdivision. D. When it operates with the same force and effect in every place where the subject may be found. Answer, letter D, accordingly, a tax is considered uniform when it operates with the same force and effect in every place where the subject of taxation may be found. This means that the tax should have consistent application and impact across different locations. Option A refers to equality, not uniformity. Number 6 which of the following scenarios would infringe the rule on equality in taxation? A. Taxing all residents of a city at the same rate. B. Exempting one particular class from taxation while taxing other classes. C. Applying different tax rates to different units within the same municipality. D. Taxing all units within the same province at the same rate. Answer, letter B. Infringement of the rule on equality in taxation occurs when one particular class is singled out for taxation or exemption in respect to other classes. Taxation should be applied equally to all classes within the same category. Number 7, what is the role of substantial distinctions in the classification for taxation? A. They must be eliminated to ensure equality. B. They must be based on income levels of individuals. C. They must make real differences between the objects of taxation. D. They must be based on political subdivisions. Answer. Letter C. Substantial distinctions used in the classification for taxation must make real differences between the objects of taxation. This means that the classification should have a reasonable basis and reflect actual variations or characteristics that affect the tax treatment of different entities. Number 8. What must the purpose of legislation or ordinance be in relation to the classification of object for taxation? A to promote economic growth and development. B. To generate maximum revenue for the LGU. C. To address specific needs or objectives. D. To impose burdens on certain classes. Answer. Letter C. The purpose of legislation or ordinance, in relation to the classification for taxation, must be to address specific needs or objectives. The classification should be reasonably connected to the goals or purposes sought to be achieved through the imposition of taxes. Number 9. What type of tax system should each local government unit strive to develop? A. Fixed system. B. Regressive system. C. Progressive system. D. Regulated system. Answer. Letter C. Each local government unit should, as far as practicable, evolve a progressive system of taxation. A progressive tax system means that the tax rate increases as the tax base increases. This ensures that individuals or businesses with higher incomes or sales contribute proportionately more to the tax revenues of the local government. Number 10. In Municipality X, there is a proposal to impose a new tax on local businesses. According to the principle of equity in local taxation, what should be considered when implementing this tax? 
a. The revenue needs of the municipality. b. The profitability of individual businesses. c. The potential impact on trade and investment. d. The willingness of businesses to pay the tax. Answer, letter C, the principle of equity in local taxation requires fairness and considers the taxpayer's ability to pay. When imposing a new tax on local businesses, it is essential to consider the potential impact on trade and investment. The tax should not discourage trade or hinder economic growth, as it would go against the principle of equity. For more videos like this, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Comment your questions and clarifications below. For continuation of this video, please see the link in the comment section.